there. Welcome to my craft cave. I'm glad you came by. Um, I got a package in the mail from Close to My Heart and I'm really excited about it. I purchased the Workshops on the Go Frosted Card Baking Collection. And I want to tell you about it and then I want to show you what you can do with it. Let me show you how, as they say, it Close to My Heart. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is that you get the diagram, the um, card making guide is what they call it. And it shows you an example on the front of the cards that you can make um, with this kit. And uh, those by themselves are adorable, I must say. Then, when you open it up to the inside, it gives you a list of what you might need in order to complete the cards. If you open it up further, it gives you a blown up detail of the cards that you make. Then when you flip it over on the back, they give you the cutting diagram so that you know exactly what to cut, what sizes to cut out of each and every sheet of paper that you're given in the collection. So, with that, let me show you what all you get. First of all, let's go through the papers. You get the B&T Duos. This is the first side. And that's the back side of the B&T Duos. And the first side that I showed you is, you probably can't make it out on this video, but it's all these little white snowflakes on a beige background. It kind of has a distressed feel to it. And then on the other side, it's like a muted um, grayish blue with a cream color um, background of snowflakes. So it's really cute. I love that. And then, of course, I don't know if you've ever really paid it any mind, but if you'll look at the bottom where you would cut this strip off, if you'll turn that over and take a look, you'll see that that is actually a border that you can use. Okay? So that's that. The card stock that you get, you get two sheets of Colonial White, one sheet of the Craft, one sheet of the ruby, one sheet of the olive, and that's the paper that you get in your kit. Now this is with the card making workshop on the go, okay? That's the one I'm showing you. The next thing you get is this adorable set of stamps, and it says, says may your days be merry and bright, have a holly jolly Christmas, peace and joy, warm winter wishes. And on this same sheet, you have one, two, three different snowflakes, a set of trees for background. You have, um, it looks like a little snowflake scene right here. And then you have this adorable, what I call a pinwheel border on the side. Okay? So you have all these stamps in your kit. You also get Baker's Twine and some Silver Bling. Now, the great thing about this, I love this card making guide because when you've finished making all the cards that um, you have in your kit, all the stuff that you have, all of the supplies you have, when you finish using all of that, you can take this same card making guide, go back into your stash, because you all know most of us are hoarders. Yeah. I don't even want to go there. But yeah, most of us are hoarders and have a stash of papers a mile high. And um, so go back to your stash, pick out some bling, pick out some other sentiments, because I'm sure you have plenty of Christmas sentiments. And using the same exact cutouts, the same diagrams, you can make a whole other set of cards that aren't even, you know, the same. So ultimately, the possibilities are endless. So what I'm going to do now is get out my paper trimmer and I'm going to start cutting out these papers, getting my cards ready to start making and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to put the cards together and uh, we'll get them done. And that will give me at least 12 cards to uh, start out the holiday season. I'll be right back. 